Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe and notifications on button so you'll know anytime I upload new content. So uh, again, if you guys have been watching me for a while now, uh, you guys know I don't generally do a lot of unboxings. Uh, very rarely have I ever actually been patient enough to wait uh, until I get in front of the camera and uh, share it with you guys. Well, today I would like to do an unboxing with you folks, and this is for, once again, my Invicta fans, the ones who come to the channel primarily for the Invicta watches. Now, um, I've dealt with a lot of different companies over these last, I'd say, couple years, mainly the last year, uh, and I've re received a lot of products, a lot of different things to share with you guys, a lot of watches, uh, and a lot of watches that necessarily that uh, I wouldn't necessarily have, have purchased, uh, but still end up liking that I have them, and they're great to have in the collection, and great to share with you guys. And I see what you guys buy, I can track all that stuff if you buy something through the referral links, and I do appreciate you using those links anytime that you make a purchase. Well, today, I got in the mail something I've been waiting on now for about a week, and I reached out to a company. Uh, he's a very well-known, very reputable eBay seller of Invicta. Pretty much all he sells is Invicta watches through eBay, and he always has a great selection, great service, and honestly, the best pictures on eBay. I've used several of his pictures in the past for thumbnails just because they're that good. Well, I worked a deal with him, and... Uh, and I'll tell you, you know, who that guy is, and there will be a link in the description to his eBay store. And uh, basically, I'm going to be getting a constant flow of Invicta watches to share with you guys. So today, I want to do an unboxing, my first shipment from Bulldog Enterprises, a fantastic seller on eBay. I've used him in the past, and uh, he knows who I am on the YouTube channel, and he agreed for a... Uh, a monthly shipment of watches, uh, providing I can get these reviewed in that time frame, which I should be able to, not a problem. And so you guys will be having over 10 Invicta watches on the channel being reviewed, providing that he has fresh inventory all the time, which he normally does. Uh, I'll be reviewing these watches at a very consistent date. Because in the past, you know, a lot of you guys, and you know, for some of the haters out there who have accused me of having an affiliation with Invicta, I don't, and I've always wanted one. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, maybe that's something that'll happen down the road, maybe in due time. But at least I have an affiliation with a great eBay seller, and basically, uh, this will give you an idea of what products he has, very competitive prices, and um, great service, like I said. So, let's go ahead and crack open this, baby. I got my knife right here. Don't cut yourself there. All right, so let's crack it open. Ten watches. The original agreement was for uh, five, and he was so generous. He was nice enough to send me ten. Now, these watches are on loan, of course, just so you guys know. These, Unfortunately, I don't get to keep all ten, uh, but at least he's nice enough to send me these to share with you guys and promote not only you know uh, his business, but allows me to get fresh fresh products for you guys because, guys, I can't afford to buy ten watches a month to share with you guys. So I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and crack this box open here, and I know... I know you guys are going to say something. I swear to God. I know I'm going to hear about it, so let me go ahead and drop the camera down here. Bear with me on the unboxing because I know somebody's going to turn around and say, you didn't show us the unboxing. So let's go ahead and do it right, okay? So hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Let's crack it open here. Pretty excited about this. Uh, and like I said in the past, guys, I have an affiliation with Aragon Watches where they send me product um, as often as I send it back uh, to share with you guys. So this is pretty exciting now that I have a stream of Invicta watches. All right, so he sent it in a nice Invicta box, of course. Let me tell you, 10 Invicta watches is pretty heavy. All right, so right off the bat, we got a box of Invicta watches. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, <laughs> Now we're talking, guys. Right off the bat, I see a lot of uh, a lot of iridescence, some bolts. Uh, and again, each one of these watches is going to be re reviewed in depth, like I always do, showing you guys what it looks like on the wrist. Now, I'm not going to size these watches because uh, they are on loan, of course, and I don't want to size them unless I'm going to keep them. Uh, I don't want to risk damaging the watch, but I will unwrap them so you guys can actually see them, and uh, you guys will get a good, good idea of what they look like on the wrist. Of course, I'm not going to be 100% perfect. I'm going to have to hold it, but you'll get an idea nonetheless. So let's see what we got here. See, this is why normally I don't do unboxings live because there's always so much paper involved all right so right off the bat we have i forget which model number this one here is this is a newer one 
Again, not really sure off the, off the top of my head which one this is. I know this is what I've been seeing lately. This is beautiful. You have a ghost bridge on this one here. Uh, decorated rotor or engraved rotor. Uh, see, this is not good for me because this is something that I'm going to want to keep each and every one of these. Oh my God, this is just torture. All right, this one's been around for a while. I've seen this one before. Not a bad watch. My coworker actually got this exact same watch. This is your ghost bridge. Um... Russian Diver. This is one I actually been wanting for quite some time. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll end up keeping any of these. We'll just have to find out. So this is something I can definitely rock on the wrist because you got that band, the uh, leather band. This is, I've been a fan of this watch for quite some time. Like I said, I reviewed this one in the past. My coworker, my ex coworker, has this exact watch. Here we have another one in a gold tone. There we go. Not bad. Pretty sharp. And again, guys, sorry about the plastic, but. Uh, just a quick unboxing showing you guys what I'm going to be reviewing here in the next couple weeks. Alright, this looks like a, like a pro diver. I've never actually seen a pro diver up, up close. This is actually pretty nice. Oh, this is a newer one. Oh, this is actually... God, God I tell you, it's just, it's, it's just torture, guys. I mean, seeing this stuff, I mean... Oh, man, that's just beautiful. Sort of a uh, Russian diver style wash. I'm not really sure, again, which... I have the model numbers here, but I'm not going to read them off to you guys just yet. I just want to give you guys just a quick unboxing on uh, what's coming here. Got the abalone, though. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to like this one. Bolt Magnum Combat Edition. Ah, that's slick. That is slick. Very nice. Oh yeah, here we go. I've been wanting to get my eyes on this one for a while here. This is a specialty in a two-tone, sort of like a turquoise or like a bluish aqua kind of color. Uh, black and aqua, I would say, with the abalone face. Again, pretty hard to see with all the plastic in there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust into all these and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into that. All right, another, av another uh, combination. Which one is this one? This is the Venom, done in an iridescent finish. Seen this one for a while now. Absolutely stunning. Really can't go wrong with that iridescent finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. All right, this is great because these watches have been really popular. Uh, this has been one of my most popular videos. This is, again, the iridescent or the Magnum uh, iridescent finish. This is a looker right here. Stunning. And this one I specifically requested. This one's really attractive. This is, man, I can't stand the amount of wrapping Evicta puts on their stuff. This one here is your Burgundy and Blue Abalone Face Subaqua Specialty. This is awesome. Oh man, that thing is just, Jesus. And I did save one I saw in the box. Uh, the best for last. I had to save this one for last. Uh, this one might look familiar. This is a brand new line by Invicta. This is the Blue Label Sea Hunter 3, as I call it. Uh, they call it Generation 2. I call it Generation 3 because they had two generations already. Absolutely stunning. Uh, he sent this one on purpose. I know he did. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was my... Invicta unboxing of some of the watches you're going to be see, uh, see uh, being reviewed here in the next couple weeks. Again, I'm probably gonna do one today. I don't, I got also, I mean, I got tons of cologne I gotta review too. So uh, looking forward to sharing all this stuff with you guys. I got more coming tonight. So, uh, and I got a smoker coming. Guys, you're gonna have a lot more stuff coming on the channel. Uh, this is exciting, I'm really thankful. Uh, I just wanna thank, uh, Bulldog Enterprises for their generosity in sponsoring the video with these watches to share with you guys. Stay tuned for the in-depth review. What's going to take time is unwrapping all these and then re-wrapping them when I send them back. But uh, fantastic. Once again, thank you, Bulldog. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, Fat Cat Collection signing out. Stay tuned for more, folks. Subscribe to the channel if you just discovered this video so that you are in the, uh, the know for all the stuff that's coming down the road here. So this is probably going to take a couple weeks. I, might, I don't want to release them all. You guys let me know. If you guys, if I can record these pretty quick 
and uh, and uh, release them. What do you want? Once a week? Twice a week? How many do you want per week? I'm not doing every day, but maybe. maybe. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, have a wonderful day. Take care. Okay. Welcome back. Um, so I went ahead and uh, killed the camera for a second and unwrapped all these awesome, sick watches that I want to share with you guys. And so I'm not going to do it, like I said, a full review right now of each one. That's going to be coming down the pike uh, down the next couple of weeks. Uh, but there are uh, 10 beautiful watches sitting on this desk behind me here that I've unwrapped and at least wanted to show you what they look like without the plastic on. So you guys know exactly what's going to be happening or being reviewed in the next couple weeks. Sorry, let me get that camera set up properly there. All right, so uh, let's just start off with this one right here since it's the closest one to me. Uh, this one here, Ghost Bridge. I have reviewed this one in the past, a stunning timepiece. Um, I've been wanting to pick one of these up in my collection or for my collection. I just haven't got around to it. And let's face it, there's so many different watches. Um, I'm not a huge strap kind of guy, although I do wear some every now and then. Uh, but I tell you, Aragon makes an amazing um, uh, mesh band that I purchased uh, three of those to date that I put on some of the other higher end watches that I have that I, I wanted to uh, have a nice, beautiful strap on, uh, such as my Aqua Dive and my a couple of my Alexanders. And of course, Bob, who can forget the Delta TNBS? I put that on that strap just because the strap is so nice, or the bracelet is so nice, it's, it really matches the watch. So uh, that would look stunning on a watch like this. I've seen one of these watches with a mesh strap on them. I'll probably experiment and see what it looks like on one of these, and maybe uh, maybe we'll end up keeping one. So, all right, so that's the Ghost Bridge right there, Russian Diver. Um, again, just uh, keeping with that uh, same model, uh, same watch, just with the gold bezel. And I have reviewed the blue bezeled version in the past, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, and we're gonna go through these really quick here. Um, can't go wrong with a Venom, uh, let alone a iridescent Venom, Venom watch. Uh, absolutely stunning. Um, I have a couple Venoms in my collection right now, and I do have a couple iridescent watches. Um, I like the iridescent, but it's really over the top. So uh, I believe I have, what do I have? I have the uh, Grand Octane or the Grand Arsenal, again, depending on where you buy it. I have the uh, Sea Hunter 3, and I think, is that the only ones? Yeah, those are the only two I have. And I generally uh, don't have a lot of iridescent watches in my collection just because they are so over the top, but I tell you, it's kind of this kind of watch you can wear. Um, like I, I wear jeans, you know, all the time. So I wouldn't wear this one necessarily uh, with a suit. It's just it's really over the top, but beautiful. Can't go with the Venom watch. I mean, really can't. This next one here, I'm not really sure what the model is. I know this is a newer one. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, um, there's that one with that ghost bridge. And I'll I'll touch on all the model numbers when I do a full review on this. Let you guys know and give you guys all the links to the listings. Beautiful watch, looking for something a little bit uh, smaller. It's not really small, but a little bit smaller, a little dressier. Uh, again, with that iridescent finish, we have, and this is, I like this one more than the Venom and the iridescent finish. Uh, this one here is the Bolt Magnum. Uh, just awesome. I reviewed this watch a long time ago. One of my subscribers was nice enough uh, to actually lend me one of their uh, uh, Bolt uh, Magnums, and the video is still one of my most popular videos. This is a very popular watch, and the price now on this, used, the price used to be insane on this. You couldn't get this for under $800, and now the price is really coming down. They're making a lot more of these because they know the, they're very popular. Um, so this is a great time if you want to pick up one of these watches to do it because uh, you know how Invicta goes. One day one day you can get them for 300 bucks. Next day, you know, they're, they're 1000 bucks. You can't find them anymore, so... Uh, next one here, this one actually surprised me. I've seen this one before. This is a newer model, um, and I gotta tell you, when I threw it just kind of on the wrist to check it out, uh, this watch has a great, very masculine wrist presence. Um, again, I don't know which, which particular um, line this is from, but I will uh, share that with you when I do the review. Um, abalone and silver, I don't have anything in abalone and silver, and this one is really stunning. It's got that cantina style crown protector on there. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful as well. I like this one a lot more than I thought it would. You know, I saw it online, I was like, yeah, cool, but seeing it in person, this one really has surprised me. Uh, again, another really nice looking watch, the Bolt Magnum again in the uh, Combat Edition. Uh, all mirror polished black finish on this everywhere. A few areas where it's sandblasted or kind of a matte finish right around the bezel. Uh, and the face is kind of like a dark, almost like a copper color. Like a real subdued copper color. You have a little bit of contrast 
really nice looking and your second time zone underneath there at the six o'clock six o'clock position just a fantastic i don't have a bolt uh, magnum in my collection yet and you know it's one of those watches that it's super popular i really like it but i'm such a big fan of the original bolt that every time i see i think about buying the magnum i see another bolt like the one i just bought the other day with the diamond bezel I had to have it uh, you know how it goes uh, next one here, I'm going to hit, hit you up with this one. Brand new line Invicta came up with. Uh, their Blue Label, uh, limited edition Blue Label line. Uh, everything's done in mirror, not mirror polish, but uh, some are mirror polish, some are a combination like this one. Two-tone uh, copying with the, or standing with the same theme uh, that Invicta does on all their Sea Hunters, which is that mirror polished uh, links down the center, matte finish or brush finish on the other parts of the watch. And with the blue line, uh, they're doing it in that, again, that royal blue finish and gold accents. That he knew what he was doing to send me this one. This one's, man, it's beautiful. <laughs> I do like my Grand Octane I got the other day in the blue label better just because it's got more gold on it. Uh, this one doesn't have as much gold, but still a stunning watch. Uh, next one here. Another, this one was that one I showed you, be, again, all these are the ones I showed you before previously in the video, but um, done in a, like I said, more of a kind of a greenish blue, I'd say like an aqua, maybe like an aqua, like a sea green almost, sea green, uh, su uh, uh, sub aqua specialty. I have this watch in, what do I have it in, gold I think, gold in, in rose tone, and this is a great color combination with that abalone, very uh, of the sea, you know what I mean, beautiful watch. And I gotta tell you, I think the favorite of all the watches that he sent me, uh, this one I may have to keep uh, if the price is right. We'll see. Uh, this one here is again a specialty done, and I love that Victor's doing this. Uh, again, it's so funny about Victor. You never picture yourself wanting to wear a watch of these colors, and you know after having them, seeing them, and getting ones, uh, you know after you lay your eyes on them, it's just like you just want them in every color. It's like a box of crayons, I swear. So this is done in that nice royal tone blue. That beautiful abalone in the face, and obviously, like kind of a wine-colored, uh, burgundy-colored links, uh, uh, side links in this watch. This watch is absolutely stunning, um, just beautiful. All right, guys. Well, sorry, I'm, I tried to get that out in that video the best way I could, but I tell you, I'm just excited to have them. I just can't. I'm just like a kid in a candy shop. It's like Christmas morning over here. So, guys, stay tuned for the video reviews. Behind me, you'll also see several different clones. I got three clone houses sitting back here. These are very, very high-end fragrances. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of oil in these fragrances. Uh, we're gonna talk about those at a later date. I did put up just an unboxing or a kind of an unwrapping video of the House of Matriarch, and of course um, the what's the other one there? The uh, what is it called? I'm already forgetting the source. Ad Source Adage, I always say it wrong. Source Adage, I believe it's what it's called. So stay, stay tuned for those video reviews on those uh, colognes. So, man, guys, I'm just like ecstatic. I mean, I can't wait. It's my Friday. What a better way than kill work, get don't work, get your herded, and then uh, come back to a, a bunch of amazing products. Uh, and I got a few more things coming in the mail. Uh, I got a Zomato camera I just got set up over there. Uh, for those of you follow me, follow me from the Smart Home Tech. And of course, I have uh, some more fragrances coming tonight, some grooming supplies, and uh, a smoker coming in the mail too. So uh, lots of neat stuff coming down the path, guys. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to the channel. Click the like to be notified anytime I upload that video. That's the only way you're going to know. Um, you know, you can subscribe to the channel, but you may not know when I put up new videos. And again, I'm going to start to re-review some of those older Invicta watches that I've had for quite some time now and let you guys know how are they working and you guys know how they're working they're all working great so all right guys thanks a lot stay tuned for more have a great weekend bye bye